Innovation to transformation, a big part of business recovery from COVID-19 is looking ahead to a post-pandemic world. We've already seen digital progress accelerate. I mean, could you imagine life now without a Zoom meeting or an Amazon delivery? Businesses need to make decisions about digital and how they're going to use this technology, or as today's experts are going to talk about risk being left behind. Joining me now are marketing connections experts, Tim Haynes of Symposia Labs, Paul Schmidt from Unodus Multimedia, and Jesse Flores of Super Web Pros. Welcome to the show. Hi, Julie. Thanks for having us. Tim, I'm going to start with you. It's safe to say that digital marketing is here to stay, but for many businesses, it's still pretty indim- intimidating. Help us demystify digital marketing. So don't let digital marketing scare you any more than you let that new iPhone or new Android phone scare you. Marketers like to throw out a lot of acronyms, SEO, CTR, PPC. I like to think WTF are those. So <laughs> at the end of the day, marketing is about working with a client, figuring out what the issues are, and most importantly, finding solutions. Marketing is about connecting. It's about conversations. It's so much more complicated and deep than just saying, buy this thing. Marketing, especially digital, is connected to every aspect of your business. Marketing and the internet go hand in hand. The internet was a revolution in communication, and COVID simply accelerated that. I'm sure we've all heard of COVID. We all probably wish we hadn't. (laughs) (laughs) Very true. Very true. But you're right, it has changed the landscape the landscape of how we use digital and, and really put more people into this digital environment with us. Um, Paul, speaking of which, I, I want to turn to you because with you know, you own a video storytelling agency. How does video come into play with digital marketing? What's the importance here when we're talking about creating your digital strategy? Video has probably pushed itself even more into the forefront due to COVID. Let's just get back, get past the COVID aspect. But, you know, to be honest, um, it is part of that conversation and maybe even be this conversation starter that, that Tim just mentioned when it comes to your marketing. And there's a couple of things that um, to really break down how video works is to, to look at two major things is knowing who your audience is and how you want to reach them and the platforms that you're using to do that. And that's where it really comes into play because it's all about, you know, with these conversations, um, with these, with putting out your stories and the why behind your stories there, it is about what I call the AV of video production, the, uh, the authenticity aspect of your story and the versatility aspect of the tool that is video because it's, it is very versatile in all the things that it can do in different areas of your media content and putting it out there and putting it out for those who really want to understand what you do and how you can work best for them. So true, Paul. And and I know from our our previous conversations, you know, video really has such a high engagement level. We're talking a three times higher or six times higher, depending on which platform you're talking about. Um, So of course, that's such an important role in our digital marketing. Jesse, for you, there's a lot to be said about connection and content, Um, but still it's a lot of techie stuff, which I know is the world that you live in with websites, but especially for people who are not digital natives. How do you manage all of these different algorithms? Yeah, great question. You know, I think marketing is still, as Tim and Paul said, it's still fundamentally a human enterprise, right? It's about connecting humans with content and information that hopefully helps them to solve problems uh, that they have either in their business or that they're trying to help their customers have. That said, it's all mediated through software. You know, and I like to tell people um, that software is only scary if you think it's magical, right? So remember the Wizard of Oz, you guys have probably all seen the Wizard of Oz, right? And the wizard is like this ma- you know, this magical mystical creature. And then you get to the, you get to Oz and you're like, oh, it's just a dude behind a curtain. Well, software is, is, is the same way. It's just people coding stuff uh, in order to, uh, to meet a particular need. So what's Facebook about? Facebook is about being able to connect people with the, uh, the information, the causes, and the humans that they care about. Instagram's got a different goal. Google has a different goal. Google's about trying to make it easy for people to find helpful answers to questions they're asking, right? 
So when you take a step back and say, look, I'm not really interested in optimizing for algorithms. That's not the thing. The thing is I'm trying to help people uh, solve a particular problem in a particular way with each platform having its own way to accomplish that. It starts to become a lot easier. And then you start to say, okay, well, what is this platform built for? Okay, and, and what are the people on this platform trying to do? And how can I both help this platform, which by the way, has investors and, and shareholders, right? How can I help this platform be successful while communicating the thing I need to communicate to this audience or this audience or this audience here? And all of a sudden it's no longer a mystical thing. It's about trying to connect people that have profit incentives vis-a-vis -vis platforms with people who have real problems and need real answers on these platforms with the thing that you have to answer. And so the guiding question for me is, what is this platform about? And what can I do to reach the humans on this platform in such a way that I can add value to the platform and to those people in a way that's meaningful? So helpful, Jesse. Of course, in order to, um, you know, we're talking about the algorithms, in order to play the game, we have to first learn the rules. And that's really what the algorithms are. And they're designed to help those platforms get our content to the audience. So a great way of breaking that down. Jesse, Paul, Tim, thank you so much for your comments on this. You know, I, I used to think that it was kind of magical what you guys do. Now I just know you're the men behind the curtain. Um, <laughs> so thanks, Jesse, for that. To see more from our marketing experts, head to WLAJ.com and click the link for marketing connections.